بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ ڈیئر فرینڈس ویلکم ان دس ایلسٹریٹر ویڈیو آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو کریٹ دس کین آف ابسٹریکٹ بیک گراؤنڈ اور ابسٹریکٹ اور مے بی فیوچرسٹک شیپ ان سائڈ ایلسٹریٹر اسٹے ہیئر ان سی اسٹیپ بائی اسٹیپ اوکے لیٹس کریٹ دیٹ فرام اسکراچ لیٹس فرسٹ کریٹ اے نیو لیئر Click the rectangle tool and let's draw a few of them. Disable the stroke and let's change the color to an orangish color. Let's duplicate a couple of times. This should be tall than that one. And this one should be a little bit on the weight. And duplicate that. Let's duplicate that and add a few space or distance between Control D to one time continuous process. I think that's enough. Let's change the colors. Okay. We can create a different shapes from these in add perfect color to the shapes but uh, for me that's better let's select all the shapes and hold down alt and drag to, to duplicate that but this time let's d disable the color the fill color for all the shapes and let's add a white stroke with one point let's move that okay first before we drag that to the up let's first group that and this should be also in one group okay now let's drag okay now let's decrease the opacity for this struct to pouring okay now let's make a pattern brush from these shapes select all the shapes and go to the brushes and drag and drop here we should select the pattern brush and click ok here i don't like to make any changes and you can add the name one thing this should be shape 01 click ok and let's drag again the same process again let's select the pattern brush this time to be should be this time should be shap shape 02 and click ok and one for the last time click in pattern brush shape 03 Okay, now let's create a circle. Go to shapes again and select the ellipse tool. Hold down Alt Shift to proportionally scale up the circle. Okay, now 
the shape is selected let's first apply the shape 01 I think I don't like to make any more changes I just would like to know you the perception okay if you would like to make any changes double click on this and let's scale it down okay preview that to see what's going on there I think for this first one the default is better cancel that let's duplicate this go to object sorry edit copy edit paste in front let's move that to the downside this time I would like to add the shape 0 2 and double click on that and scale it down to see all of the shapes okay click OK what is saying the brush is in use in some stroke may have overridden its option I think apply the strokes let's duplicate that again control C control F and scale up that this time I would like to add the shape number three double click and check the preview to see and let's scale up that and you can add space between I think that's right now click OK again apply the stroke to the shape I don't like that just disturbing me now let's arrange that a little bit this is the bottom one and this is the large one I would like that to be under all of that shapes I think that's better but uh, yeah this is the first shape this is the second shape let's first select that and scale down that a little bit let's tweak that okay and this shape should be a little bit scale perfect now select all the shapes and go to object expand appearance and let's group that now these are all collected in one group now let's go to free transform tool click that and select this free distort okay now let's add the BG or I mean the background let's create a new rectangle fill with a gradient let's go to layer and this should be under the shapes and let's go to gradient and this should be radial and change the color this should be
a white purple color and this should be maybe that's perfect let's make a small shadow for that and apply the color I don't like the stroke for that and again this should be a radial and let's reverse the gradient and this side should be at zero opacity let's stretch that a little bit and change the blending option to a multiply and the shadow should be at the bottom it should be a little bit move up that and decrease the opacity to 70 okay that's fine hope to enjoy the tutorial and thanks for watching see you in next tutorial goodbye